Welcome to this lesson on formatting pictures and text effects in PowerPoint. Um, this will be a pretty basic one. Uh, this is another one where I am going to give you a pre-made practice presentation to work with. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and pause me right now and go ahead and watch the little introductory video here on tile number one. And once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and open up the directions here and just kind of get started. Uh, it says open up the practice presentation. All right, so we're going to click here, open up our practice presentation and download it. And let's see what we're working with here. All right. Oh, I remember this presentation well. Formatting pictures and text effects. All right, you can see here we've got um, uh, eight slides, most of which have pictures on them. Some of them don't, and you can kind of guess we're probably going to add some uh, pictures to these slides that don't actually have them on there. So let's see what we got to do here. It says on slide seven, select the treadmill picture and crop the picture so that it's slightly smaller and the treadmill takes up the majority of the frame. All right, so that treadmill picture is right here. All right, so let's get into picture tools. Click on a picture in PowerPoint. When you click on a picture up here, you get picture tools and you get a format tab and everything that we're going to need to do is going to be right here. All right, and you can see here, here's the crop. And when I press on crop, I get these little bounding boxes. And when I hover over them with my mouse, I can actually click and drag and take these in a little bit so that I just have the treadmills in the actual image. And when you're done, you're going to come up here and hit crop. All right. And now we've cropped that image out. Now let's see what else we have to do here. Um, change the style of the picture, apply a correction to the picture, for example, increase the brightness. Okay, so style, picture styles. I'm going to let you guys pick your own picture style here. And again, under picture tools format, we talked about this a little bit in the last lesson, how there's picture effects, and then there's picture styles, all right? And these picture styles have very weird names, all right? Like this one here is called reflected bevel white. This one's here called metal rounded rectangle because it looks like it gives you a metal rounded rectangle frame. I'm probably going to pick that one right there. All right. Picture style. There we go. Um, apply a correction to the picture. All right. So this is kind of cool. Um, I've shown you guys some of this stuff over here, especially the artistic effects. And I think I've shown you some of this color correction stuff. Um, but there's a whole corrections under the adjust group over here. Um, and if you notice here, it we have a group for sharpen and soften, and then we have a group for brightness contrast. So we can increase the brightness um, of our picture. It makes it look um, a little drowned out, like there's too much light in our picture. All right. And as you hover over these things, notice how they have different names. So this is brightness zero, contrast negative 20. So if I pick this picture style, I'm dropping my contrast um, about 20 uh, percent it looks like I'm dropping it about 40 percent there all right this is just normal all right this is I'm increasing the contrast and this is I'm increasing the contrast again 40 percent I kind of like that actually I like the contrast that's too dark too bright I kind of like this one so I'm going to go ahead and just <clears throat> adjust the contrast by 40 percent all right there we go uh, compress your picture and choose email as your target output. All right. Compress your picture and choose um, email as your target output. So with pictures in PowerPoint, and some of you guys already noticed this, it can make your presentation file size very, very large. Um, and sometimes you'll need to come up here and say um, compress pictures. All right. And notice here we have target outputs. All right. Um, up here, we have compression options, apply only to this picture or delete cropped areas of picture. So right now, remember when I cropped my picture out, that crop, it still saves the actual cropped area that I deleted, um, but this will actually delete that cropped area and it'll make the file size a little bit smaller, all right? Because when, when you crop a picture, it's, you're not really deleting it, you're just kind of making an adjustment. So we need to go ahead and say email for the output this means it's going to be 96 pixels per inch, which is going to be the smallest file size that we can um, select. It's also going to affect the quality of our image. We might not notice it here on the treadmill image, um, but it does reduce the quality of your images. All right. Sharpen the picture on the slot on slide four by 50%. That's another correction. So on slide four, this picture right here, it wants us to sharpen it by 50%, and here's our sharpen soften group. 
and we want to come over here and say sharpen 50%. Okay. Insert a picture in the content box of slide five that reflects the word stress. So here, I'm just literally going to use my online pictures and say stress and see what comes up. I always use like the same, yeah, this one right here. There. Oh, look, it's little Madison. It's little Madison. Every time I look over at little Madison, that's kind of how she looks in technology class. There we go. All right. Uh, crop that picture into a shape of your choosing. Oh, okay. So this is kind of cool. Um, when you're cropping, sometimes you can actually, uh, sometimes, if you want to, you can uh, crop to a shape. <clears throat> and this is kind of cool. And sometimes it's kind of lame. I'm going to go ahead and use the heart shape here. No, let's not use the heart shape because it looks stupid for this picture. Uh, maybe something else. I don't know. That's stupid too. I don't know. Cropping to a shape, I guess, is not all it's cracked up to be. I guess something like that. That's just weird. I don't know. That's just weird. There you go. But you can crop images to shapes. Let's see if I can do it here so you can actually see like what a crop shape would look like. Let's see if I can do like a little yeah, crop to a shape. Boom. That's what it does. It just takes your picture and uh, basically puts it into a shape. All right. Change the picture style on the, uh, of the scale on slide three to a beveled oval black picture style. Okay, so there's a scale, black oval picture style. Here, here. Here's our scale. All right, and it wants a specific picture style this time around. Black oval, beveled oval black, is that what it is? I agree. Beveled oval black picture style, that's what it is. Beveled oval black picture style. Boom, done. Okay. Change the slide layout of slide eight to a two content slide layout. So I'm gonna scroll down to slide eight and change my layout to a two content slide layout. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do more work on that slide now. Yep. Add images in both content boxes that reflects the benefits of eating healthy and working out. <laughs> okay, is this a hint? Uh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Eating healthy. Let's see what comes up here. Sure. And then working out. Look, that totally looks like me. Oh, this guy right here. That totally looks like me when I'm in the gym. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Minus the actual like weights on the machine. Yeah, because I don't. Yeah. Uh, add images. Okay, change the word art style on slide to a to a white fill outline accent to hard shadow accent two. So word art is confusing. Change the word art style on slide two. So slide two, this one right here. Word art styles. When you click on a <clears throat> on a, a text box, you're gonna get word art styles here. And if you hover over them, all your word art styles have very strange names. They want us to find. Fill white, outline, accent two, hard shadow, accent two. So fill white, I know is gonna be one of these. That's accent one. Fill white, outline, accent, that's it right there. New wellness program, boom. Use the format painter, I knew this was coming too. Use the format painter to apply this word art style to the rest of the title boxes in the presentation. All right, so I'm gonna come up here home tab, this is a little review, double click on the format painter, and let's go through all the other titles in our presentation and paint the format to make it all match. And when you're done, come up here and turn off the format painter one time. Okay, apply a curtain transition to slide one and only slide one. Transitions tab, curtains, Okay. Apply a cube transition to all slides in the presentation except the title slide. So hold slide two, scroll down, hold slide eight, come up here and let's grab this cube transition right here. Boom. 
okay? And we just applied it to all of the slides. Add a wipe animation to the title text box on slide two. Change the direction to come in from left. Set the timing to come in after previous. Set a wipe animation. Set it to come in from where? Change the direction to come in from the left and set the timing to come in after previous. So over here is our effect options from the left and then after previous. All right, play our slide. Perfect. No click needed. All right. Um, add a pulse animation and set the timing of this to come in after previous. So add a pulse animation. Add a pulse animation and set the timing of this one to come in after previous. So now we should get the wipe and a pulse. Boom, just like that. Okay. Um, use the animation painter to apply this animation sequence to all title boxes in the presentation. Double click the animation painter, start painting it on all title boxes in the presentation. All right. Save this assignment and turn it in via Google Classroom. Don't forget, come up here and turn off your animation painter. Uh, before I forget, make sure you do. All right, and let's talk about text effects for a minute here, because this was a lot about picture effects, and text effects are actually pretty cool. So let's see how many of you guys are still hanging out and uh, getting this little bit off this little one slide. So I'm going to go to slide two here, and I'm going to select my new wellness program. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my text box here, and I'm going to go to the Format tab. I'm going to add this little text effects called a 3D rotation because I want to do something called Superman text here. And unless I do this, you're not going to see what the Superman text actually is or what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to add a little 3D rotation here just so you can like see the side of my actual text. Um, so I'm going to use, um, we'll say, I think I can use this one right here, and this one should be good. All right. And once I put that on there, I'm going to do a little text effect called a bevel, right? And once I put a bevel text effect, see how it took this like 3D effect now? I can actually go in here and um, go into what's called effects and go into 3D format. And actually, I can actually increase the depth of my effect a little bit. And right now my effect color is white. So let me change that to something that we can actually see, um, like red, even though it's going to look really gross. Here, let me undo that real quick. So now let me change my depth color here to something that we can actually see. I'll use this like yellow maybe. And then when I increase the depth, see how like the text gets this like cool like 3D kind of thing here. And if I want to go ahead and do a different 3D rotation, I can kind of see uh, the actual effect that I just did with my text, the 3D, the new wellness program. Um, I can also increase the contouring a little bit to make it a little better seen here. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things you can do with text in PowerPoint. Um, so let's see how many of you guys were actually paying attention to the video, and let's see how many of you guys actually have this style of text in your slide. Um, that'll be a little extra points for you. And if you do get, if you do get to this point, um, make sure that you apply it with the Format Painter. Go to the Home tab here, and go to the Format Painter, double-click it, and put it on every single slide. And let's see how many of you guys are actually watching these little videos, because this part is not in the directions. But if you don't watch the video, you're not going to know how to do this cool little text effect thing. All right? There you go, guys. Have fun with this project.